this video we are going to discuss about the inguinal canal before starting the inguinal canal let's first discuss about the inguinal ligament suppose this is your anterior superior leg spine and here is our pubic tubercle pubic crest pectinate line and obturator foramen obturator foramen this is your pubic tubercle this is pubic crest and this is pectinate line from anterior superior leg spine from anterior superior leg spine to the pubic tubercle this is this is our inguinal ligament and the inguinal ligament will reflect it reflect and forms lacunar ligament and it passes in the pectinate line and forms the pectinate pectineal ligament so we are discussing about the inguinal canal so let's directly go to the inguinal ligament canal uh, as we know there is the external oblique muscles coming forward downward and to the right and internal oblique going upward and to the right and on the above the uh, pubic tubercle there is a triangular opening on the external oblique aponeurosis this triangular opening is called superficial inguinal ring it is present on the it is present on the external oblique aponeurosis and at the midpoint of the inguinal mid inguinal point 1.25 cm above there is an oval opening somewhat midpoint 1.25 cm above there is an oval opening and on the oval opening on the fascia transversalis this is called deep inguinal ring this both inguinal ring are joined and form it forms inguinal canal so this is our inguinal canal it is about it is muscular aponeurotic opening about 4 cm in length and its content inguinal canal contents are uh, ilio inguinal nerve ilio inguinal nerve and spermatic cord in male and round ligament in female round ligament of uterus in in female so now let's discuss about the boundaries of the inguinal canal so here comes our sample this, it is from British Oversia book and this is your uh, suppose let's, let's reflect here inguinal ligament as this inguinal ligament and superficial inguinal ring is present in the external oblique aponeurosis its anterior wall the anterior wall of the inguinal ring is formed by the skin superficial fascia and external oblique aponeurosis in the medial part and on the lateral part it is, it is also formed by the internal oblique muscle the floor is formed by the inguinal ligament and medially it is also formed by the lacunar ligament as we see here and let's re reflect it and the roof roof is formed by the internal arch fiber of the internal oblique muscle and transverse abdominis muscle uh, it is roof and posterior wall on the posterior wall there is the opening of the internal inguinal ring on the fascia transversalis it is formed by the fascia transversalis extra peritoneal sac and peritoneum laterally and on the medially there is it is formed by the conjoint tendon and reflected part of the inguinal ligament just medially to the inguinal ring deep inguinal ring there is the presence of the inferior epigastric vessels so this is the overview of the inguinal canal and its boundaries and content thank you